What's up, everybody? It's your boy OC Mindset, man. If you haven't already, subscribe and like this video, man. So this video wasn't planned. Um, I just kind of think of things, right? Whenever I'm I'm here at the gym, sometimes I plan my videos. You know, most of the time, I want to say like 80% to 90% of the time, I'll plan my videos. I'll write them down. Uh, I know what I have to say, but this one was really just off of the off the dome, right? So from this point on, I want you guys to start saying that everything is your fault, right? But hear me out. I'm not saying it as in, oh, that person broke their leg. It's my fault. Like, don't be dumb, right? But look, listen, I want you to just stop. I want you to take ownership of everything that happens in your life. But with that comes losing your victim mentality. The victim mentality is when something happens and you blame it on something else like, oh, but it's because I didn't, uh, uh, this person made me late or da, 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 this, this. It's always putting the blame off of you. It's always saying, no, it was this. Vic, uh, women do that all the time. It's never their fault, right? It's never their fault. That's the reason why I want you fellas to lose the victim mentality. Because you're starting to act like a bunch of women out here. I don't want to bring this politics in here, but you can see it with politics a lot. The guys that say, oh man, it's because it's because the president did this. The president has nothing to do with your personal life. Right? Start taking ownership for everything. Everything that happens in your life, the car didn't get washed today, that's your fault, man. You're broke, that's your fault. I get it, you know. The the the, the quarantine hit, virus hit, whatever, right? We some some of y'all lost a job, that's out of your control, right? But whether you stay out of out of a job or whether you stay broke is on you. DoorDash didn't stop working. Uber Uber Eats didn't stop working. Lyft didn't stop working. You can still sign up for, for, for all of those services and make a, an extra $500, $600. Whenever I was living in New York, and this is a separate video that I'm going to make, right? But I'm going to make it whenever I probably hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm going to tell you all about this story. I used to live in New York with nothing in my account. I had no money. I'm going to go more into detail whenever I hit 1,000 subscribers, but that's what I did. I did DoorDash. I did DoorDash. I would, I would wake up. I'd go to class because I was going to school in New York. I would go to class. I'd, I'd come home. I'd get in my car, and I'd go. And I worked DoorDash the whole day, the whole rest of the day. Because I'd have, I'd, I'd have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'd go to the gym. Um, I'd, I'd shower up and I'd, and I'd, and I'd work DoorDash. And one week, I made $1,000 in New York driving DoorDash. Part-time. So you're telling me that you don't have the power to get up get in your car and just turn an app on and drive and pick food up and, and deliver it? Tell me you can't do that. <clears throat> Start taking ownership for everything in your life. Because the, the faster you can take ownership is the faster you can, you can control your life. And, and control what happens. Oh, this girl did you wrong. That's your fault. I guarantee you it's your fault. You have to, you have to make sure you're checking all the boxes within yourself and your mentality and, and what you're doing physically. You have to check all those boxes before you can start blaming others. I've had those breakups, man. 
I've had those breakups where 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 I knew I messed up. I didn't I didn't think about it then, but looking back now, I know it was my fault. I was acting a certain way. I was acting too clingy. I was acting too uh probably too over over um what is it called? Overprotective, man. Insecure. Insecure about where I stood. But guess what? I learned up on game. I got in the gym. I got I got on, on, on my mission. I got on my goals, man. And guess what happened? Wow. I didn't have that same problem no more. It's crazy how that happens, right? <clears throat> it's crazy how that happens. Once you take ownership is when you can control your life. That's today's video, man. Don't forget to subscribe, man. Like and comment, and I'll see you on the next one.